morning. It is Margaret, Texas Gal Treasures, and today we are going to be talking more jewelry. And the jewelry we're going to be talking about is Jelly Bellies. What is a Jelly Belly? And is it a Jelly Belly? There's so much debate about it out there when I was doing my research um, that we are going to dive into that today, take a look at what is considered a Jelly Belly and what is not. And if you're not even sure what I'm talking about, hang on because I will show you and we will learn about them together. So before we get started, hello, my name is Margaret. Welcome to my channel. I make videos all about making and saving money, a lot of videos about jewelry and print on demand. This one is about jewelry. And good morning, I am live, so hello everybody jumping into the chat. I'll pop the chat out in just a second, but let's take care of business first. So first I wanna to say tomorrow, that's right, tomorrow's the first of December, um, jewelry lovers and sellers, my, my jewelry group, we are starting Secret Santa tomorrow. I'm so excited. So those names will be matched up and you will be getting your Secret Santa participant tomorrow. I'm really excited about that. So if you guys are interested in checking it out, the link is down below for jewelry lovers and sellers. I am really excited. The group is going so well. Um, also, you guys know in the past I've done different videos like um, 10 things to look for for costume jewelry, you know, 10 costume jewelry brands. Well, I am creating graphics to go along with those videos, like to be handy when you're like, oh, is that what we were talking about? What were those websites Margaret mentioned? So you don't have to go back through that whole video and like scroll through them. So let me show you what I did. There's a link down below and it looks different. It's like a bit.ly link because this link to my newsletter is like ginormous. So I made a little short link. It's not a weird spammy link or whatever. Um, so this is just a sign up. That's a sign up for my newsletter. So you can come over here and you'll put, you know, your name and your email. And then I give you an option because I do merch as well. But if you're not into merch, then you would just say jewelry updates, no merch. Or if you do both, just like, okay, I want it all. So you can come over here, click jewelry updates. And so if I have newsletters or when I put out the jewelry, what did I just call? I don't even know what you it's a graphic, an infographic of the information that we did in those um, videos. That'll be there. So I'll show you what I got started. So it's not done yet. So this is the first one, the 10 high-end costume jewelry brands. And I'm putting a link to the video in it so you'll be able, and these are going to be free. So they're just going to be, yeah, anyway. So um, it'll have like the links of the sites we talked about. It'll have, and it'll have the marks. So this is the one we started with the first one. Um, anyway, so working on that, finishing that up for you guys. Really excited about that, and yeah, so there's that. Okay, so that's housekeeping before we get started. So, okay, right, okay, <clears throat> pardon me. Now I'm gonna say hey in the chat. Hey everybody, so let's see who we've got. Hello, Saving Maven and One Witch Lady. Hello, Debbie and Kara. Hello, Anne and Mary. Retro Dottie, good morning. Some of y'all are changing your names. Hang on, I recognize your picture, but you got a different name now. Hey, Joni and Carol. Hello, Patty. Hello, hello, Tammy and Bethy and Angela. Hello, good morning. Okay, so I was looking into jelly bellies because a lot of times I'll see brooches out there that's, okay, you know what? Let me slow down. Let's talk about what a jelly belly is. Okay, so you might see, uh, let me find a good, <laughs> I try to put these in order, but of course, you know, I decide I want to say something different. Good morning, good morning. Thank you guys in the chat. Okay, so you might be out and about and you see a brooch <clears throat> that looks like this, usually like an animal that's got a tummy that's a cabochon. Um, sometimes you'll see ones that are clear. Sometimes you'll see ones that are plastic or lucite. Sometimes they, they're glass or they're colored. And so there's a lot of debate out there about what is actually a Jelly Belly, what counts, and what kind of prices you can ask for them. So I wanted to share, let me see if I can pull up another, like here's a, a Google search for Jelly, you know, here, here again, Jelly Belly Jewelry. You know, so, but there is a debate about, is it only Trifari, or is it only Clear, or is it only Lucite, or is it only, you know, would this deer qualify as a jelly belly because it's not clear lucite? So as I was doing the research, um, those were some of the questions that came up. So let me share some of the websites that I was looking at. 
And apparently reformatting this page just like makes all of the ads go crazy. Now, where did it go? And I had it set up. You know me. There it is. There it is. Okay, so here's one. And this is a website that I just love, the Spruce. But the, their, their information is different than some of the other costume jewelry um, websites and blogs that I was looking into. So Jelly Belly Plastic Stones. Okay, so now this picture... Somebody might consider, ooh, this is not a technical jelly belly because it's got these little stones. Whereas others might say, no, it's like, don't be so technical, right? Um, <laughs> in the chat. <laughs> yeah. Um, so let's talk, talk about that because if you list something as jelly belly, there are, I call them the, the jewelry. <laughs> I use them for Nazis, but they're like really particular about specifics and how exactly things are named. Um, the collector, I mean, not even the collector, but there are, anyway, there are people that will message you. Like if you list something, and I'll show you some examples. If you list something as a jelly belly and it's not what they would consider a jelly belly, people, <laughs> I'm sure if you've been selling for any length of time, you've experienced something similar. Anyway, normally I just say, thank you so much for letting me know. Okay. But anyway, um, so yeah, on the spruce, it's just saying that it's figural costume jewelry, usually like a, an animal or something like that. You know, sometimes it's a crown. And this one says made with colored cabochons, plastic or glass of any color. Oh no, are not considered to be jelly bellies. Here we go. Pieces made with colored plastic cabochons or glass of any color are not considered to be jelly bellies. Okay, I misread that earlier. <laughs> I was like, oh, they're saying that it's... So, what I've been reading is that for it to technically be considered a jelly belly, it has to be lucite, and it has to be from particular brands, Trifari in particular. So, I've heard, and I've heard some people say it has to be Trifari, but I've seen some other things saying it could be Coro, Coro Craft as well. So, uh, popular pieces made by Coro, other manufacturers, like so. Okay, so I'm not going to read this whole thing to you. I'm so glad I reread that. Because I was like, that's weird. They're saying something totally different. Yeah, so from what I'm reading, it's supposed to be lucite, not glass. And on some of them, it's supposed to be clear, like clear plastic bellies, right? Pieces made with colored plastic or glass are not supposed to be considered jelly bellies. Okay? Okay. Woo! Everybody makes mistakes. Don't jump on me in the, in the chat later. Okay, so another site that I looked at is the Collectors Weekly. They have really great information. Again, <clears throat> same thing. Earliest ones was a duckling hatching from an egg, which I couldn't find a picture of, so I'll have to find, see if I can find that. Um, so technically, like when I'm looking at these, like this would not be considered a jelly belly in, in some people's terms because it's not clear or it's colored, you know? So like this, technically, if I'm going by what they're saying, that wouldn't be technically considered a jelly belly because it's not the clear lucite. Now is somebody labeling it as a jelly belly? Sure they are, you know? So that's something to keep in mind, but you also have to, I mean, here's my thoughts too. If you are just looking for like a seahorse brooch, and you're like, I want a seahorse brooch that has like the belly, you know, or the stomach. I'm like, would you still use that terminology to like as a keyword in your listing for somebody who is not as particular? I don't know. That's a choice you have to make. But that's out there. You know what I mean? Um, so it says Trifari suit Coro for infringing on its design, but other costume jewelry manufacturers you know, continue to make their versions of Jelly Bellies. So there's that. We're going to talk about prices and stuff. Okay, so here we go. Trifari Sterling Govermill Red Jelly Belly. So, again, I don't know. I mean, I personally, I'm like, yeah, I'll call this a Jelly Belly. It's made by Trifari. It's got the cabochon in the middle. Would it technically be what some people would say Jelly Belly is? Because they would say, no, these ones, the clear ones. That's what it is right? Not this, right? Okay. So moving forward, I think we got an idea of what it is. So let's take a look. And th these are, and this is another site too. I'll, um, when I create my infographic, I'll drop all these sites in there 
when I get done. So you can refer back to these things. It's really pretty. And look at that price, $375. Yes. Okay, so there's that. You've never seen, oh yeah, never even heard of it. I'm so glad I was like, oh, I'm going to do this. And everybody in the chat's like, going to say, oh my gosh, Margaret, you're giving us old news. Like we all know this already. You're talking to us about, <laughs> you guys really should look for, anyway. <laughs> so this is on Etsy. Let me scooch it. Oh, can I scooch it? It's not letting me. Darn it. Okay. So again, I just typed in jelly belly brooch and, and we get all of these different things. So people are using that term for any piece that they've got that's got a plastic or even a glass stomach. But again, technically, not, right? So it's mainly Trifari that makes them. Yeah, for, Melissa, from what I've read, Trifari was the main one. And then Coro and Coro Craft started doing it as well. But I, I'm going to get to the Coro Craft ones, and you'll see some of those prices fetch just as much as the Trifari ones. So um, it's up to you when you do your listing whether you're going to, you know, put that keyword in there knowing or not knowing that it is not technically a jelly belly. So there we have that. So, okay, those are the ones I was showing. I feel like I'm saying so a lot today. Um, so this is a Pinterest board where someone has shared, you know, these. And again, it doesn't have to be an animal like, say, figural like hands, flowers, there's crowns and things like that. Look at this one, how cute, little fish balls. And then like a kitty with a ribbon with a fish bowl. That's adorable. Anyway, moving on. So just scrolling through some of those. Alfred Philippi is another name that I see a lot. He was a designer for Trifari with the jelly belly. So that's really cool. Uh, oh, really? Save it, maybe. Okay, cool. Woo! It's like, everybody's already going to know this. But oh, well. So All right, sold. so these are solds. On eBay. On eBay. For, for jelly belly. Jelly Here belly. we go. Here we go. $350 for a seal. So if you see these out there, you guys, because I was at a garage sale estate sale yesterday that was just run by the family, and every, you know, it was just like all this jewelry, 50 cents to a dollar, all this stuff. Well, y'all, I got an amber bracelet for 50 cents because it was just like, they may not know, grandma passed away. They're just like, I don't want this poodle pin, you know? Throw it in there. I don't want this amber bracelet. Throw it in the... Yeah, I'll share, I'll share my haul later, but <clears throat> um, I'm tempted to go grab it. Anyway, um, so yeah, I mean, it may just be thrown in because, is there a lot of static? Oh, no. All right, so obviously there's been a change. We had a bit of a technical difficulty during the live stream, so I have edited this together to try to fix it up. So let me finish up what we were talking about with the Trifari and the Corocraft jewelry, the Trifari jewelry. Um, technically is what a lot of people consider true jelly bellies supposedly with supposed to be rather with clear lucite cabochons in the center and the Corocraft ones while some say they should not technically be called jelly bellies were also something to keep an eye out for they can fetch a really high price as the the Trifari one so here's an extremely rare Corocraft jelly belly Pegasus that is going for a lot of bunny rabbit for $450. So certainly something to, to keep in the back of your mind when you're out looking at jewelry is the Coro Craft ones as well. Now, there is a site called Real or Repro that shows that there are fakes because with anything that will command such a high price, someone's going to try to capitalize on it. And so here we see a, a new Coro Craft, whatever kind of fish this is, I'm not sure, lionfish maybe? Um, and down here we've got the the old one. So knowing that if you find one, it is worth checking out to make sure it's not a fake because you don't want to be caught selling a fake. So here's a new forged Coro Crafts mark, and here's the old one. So this is a really good site to come back to to check if you found something that you think, yay, this is a Jelly Belly. Could it be a fake? So definitely worth checking out instead of getting in trouble on with your account. 
All right, so thank you so much again. Apologies for the technical difficulties that we had during the show, and I will get this all fixed up and put, obviously, I'm putting it up right now. That's what I'm talking about. All right, thanks so much. Again, check out my links down below. Join Jewelry Lovers and Sellers. Come learn along with us. Sign up for my jewelry newsletter so you can get the infographics for the videos that I've created when I put them out. And again, I would love to have you subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, everybody.